welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be discussing about a blue screen error that comes on your windows 10 and windows 11 and it says your pc ran into a problem and need to restart and the stop code critical process died now this error can come because of multiple reasons like newly connected hardware device or any kind of peripheral like a printer or a keyboard that might be faulty or your device driver probably can be corrupted or outdated Another reason can be corrupted windows and so you will have to apply the simple effects that I will be sharing in this video and I'm very sure if you apply them one by one by the end of this video you will be having the solution. Now let's say if you are stuck on the same screen of a blue screen then what you have to do you need to start the computer in the advanced option and in order to do that what you will have to do on your PC or your laptop you need to press and hold the power button until it gets shut down. Once it gets shut down, again press and hold the power button to turn it on. And as soon as you see the Windows logo, again you have to press and hold the power button to forcefully shut down the computer. Now you need to repeat this step for three times and then you will be getting a screen of please wait and within few seconds only it will give you a blue screen with some kind of advanced option. Alright, so once you come to this kind of a screen, then you have to click on troubleshoot and click on advanced option now here you will find different kind of tool that will be helping you to fix the problem so first what i would recommend you you can click on startup repair so probably if there is any problem with the windows then it will be automatically fixed by this option so you can try this option if it works you are good to go but if not then again you have to come to the same page and then you have to click on command prompt now here we will be running few command in order to fix the disk or any kind of error coming on your computer. So all the command that I will be using you will be getting in the description. So you can just copy from there. So first one will be boot rec dot exe space forward slash fix mbr. Hit the enter key and it will say the operation completed successfully. The next one will be boot rec dot exe space forward slash fix boot again hit the enter key now in case if you get the access is denied no problem you can proceed with the next command and the next one will be boot rec dot exe space forward slash scan os again hit the enter key now this will be scanning all disks for windows installation so you will have to wait for some time and once this command is completed, next you have to type boot rec dot exe space forward slash rebuild bcd. Again hit the enter key. Then next you have to type boot sect space forward slash nt number six number zero space sys. Again hit the enter key. And it will say boot code was successfully updated on all targeted volume. Now the next command will be chk dsk space forward slash f forward slash r. Then you have to give a space and then you have to type your drive letter where your windows has been installed. So majority of the time it's c drive so you have to type c. Then hit the colon key and hit the enter. Now this will be scanning for the disk and this command may take some time so you will have to wait until it's all been done. Alright, so this command is finally completed and to be very honest, it can take some time so you have to keep some patience. Now once it's completed, you have to run the final command that will be sfc space forward slash scan now. Again hit the enter key and this command will also take some time, not too much. So again you have to wait until it's all been 100% completed. Alright, so it's been done and it says Windows Resource Protection found corrupt file and successfully repaired them. Okay, so finally we have ran all the command. Now what you have to do, just type exit. And then you can click on continue and see if the problem has been fixed or not. In case, if it's still the issues occur, then again you will have to come to the same page. Click on troubleshoot. Then you have to click on advanced option. And then you have to click on startup setting option. Click on it. Then click on restart. 
and now here you will find few options and first what you have to try here it says disable early launch anti-malware protection okay so you have to press the number 8 key and it will automatically restart by disabling the anti-malware protection in case if this also doesn't work again you can come to the same startup setting and you can also try disable automatic restart after failure all right so you can try these two options i understand this all process will take some time but yes you will have to do these troubleshooting by your own self so that you can get rid of this problem okay now in case if all these method doesn't work then you have to come to the same startup setting and this time you have to enter the safe mode so you can see it's on number four so you have to type the number four key from your keyboard and now the computer will be coming up in the safe mode and once you come in the safe mode you will be getting this kind of a screen and on the very right in corner you will find the safe mode option now at first what you have to do you need to click on your windows search type disk cleanup and from the suggestion you have to click on disk cleanup now it will be calculating the space so let it run and then you will be getting this kind of page here now here you have to select all these files like microsoft defender antivirus all kind of temporary file you may find the recycle bin option as well so if you don't need the item that has been restored to recycle bin you can check that option as well and if not then you can keep it unchecked rest keep all the other options checked here and then you have to click on ok click on delete files and now it will be cleaning all kind of junk that probably can cause some kind of issues and once it get completed next you have to right click on the windows icon click on run and here in the run you have to type msdt.exe space dash id space device diagnostic you have to type exactly then you have to click on ok and here you will find troubleshoot and help prevent computer problem so click on advanced and make sure this apply repair automatically option has been checked then you have to click on next and now it will be detecting the problem if there is any with the hardware or the devices so wait until it's all been done and it will let you know that what kind of issues your computer has once it will be done it will ask you select a device to troubleshoot so you have to select your device so after scanning again it will give you this kind of page and it says enable let's say device install setting windows is currently not set to check for the most up-to-date driver so make sure this option has been enabled so you may get similar uh, steps a similar recommendation so whatever option you get kindly go ahead and apply it now once you are done with this so once you are done with this again you have to click on your windows search type control then click on control panel and here you have to look for programs and features click on it now here you have to look for any kind of recent installed application or program sometime after installing any kind of application you may have this kind of problem okay so if you have recently installed any application or program and you feel that after that only you are having the trouble then go ahead right click on it and go uninstall it same you have to do with the windows update so from the left in menu option click on view install update and this will list you all the latest update that has been done so whichever is the latest one and you feel that after updating windows you had that problem then you can go ahead and uninstall that update so look according to the date wise and whichever is being recently installed go ahead and uninstall it now once you have done all these settings again click on the windows icon then click on power icon and click on restart and check back if the issue has been resolved or not if all these solutions fix your problem then you're good to go but it's still if you are stuck on a blue screen and nothing works for you then again you have to apply the same step forcefully shut down the computer for three time and again you have to come to the advanced option now this time once you come to the advanced option you have to click on troubleshoot click on advanced option and here you'll find an option of system restore so click on it and if you have created any kind of restore point probably it will be created then you have to click on next choose the date when your computer was working fine and then you can restore the computer to that particular date 
if there is no restore point or restore point also doesn't work for you the next what you have to do you need to go with the power flash so in the power flash what you have to do if you're using a pc then turn it off remove all kind of cable like power cable and the vg cable and even remove from the power plug then you have to press and hold the power button of your then you have to press and hold the power button for at least 20 to 25 seconds once you are done again you can connect all kind of your cable like the power cable and turn on the computer and check back if the problem has been fixed same you have to do with the laptop if you are using a laptop then you can remove all kind of devices connected with it and then you can press and hold the power button for 25 to 30 seconds then again connect the charger and turn on the computer to check back if the problem has been fixed now if this also doesn't work then finally you will have to go with the reset option so again come to the same advanced option click on troubleshoot and here you'll find reset this pc option so click on it and here you get two different options like keep my file and remove everything so if you don't want to lose your application lose your data then you can click on keep my file and then it will ask you cloud download or local reinstall so if you're connected with the internet then you can go with this one as well and if you want to go with the local reinstall you can go with local reinstall i would recommend you if you have the proper internet connection then you can go with the cloud download and it will take some time but at least it will give you the best result all right so this is the final solution guys and hopefully the previous solution will surely work for you and you will get rid of this blue screen problem so that's all guys for today hopefully this complete list of solution will surely help you and if yes and if you got the solution make sure that you hit the like and subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next video bye bye